Hey, what's going on, y'all? Okay, so I wanted to discuss something. It's something that I've been putting off for a little while, but uh, I, this is supposed to be a way for us to all interact with each other, the whole YouTube thing, and um, I, I just wanted to have a, an honest discussion about what everyone's thoughts are on the modern day angler and electronics. So we, I mean even, so as a kayak angler, I'm using, I have this, it's the Lucky Fish Finder. Um, I've used it a few times, it's really, really cool. Uh, I'm gonna utilize it more. But uh, yeah, I, so what are, what are your thoughts? Does the modern angler use too many electronics? Meaning that I've seen some of the imaging that's out now and stuff. I mean, you can see it's totally different from when I was younger. When I was young, um, I mean, you could see it showed, obviously, it was called a depth finder. So basically, you used it to find uh, what depth of water you were in. And I know back in the day, a lot of people used... My computer's doing a random restart. Um, back in the day, they um, I know that they used a lot of... Um, I guess I guess the depth finders were mainly used so that you could put together a pattern whenever pattern fishing became a thing. Thank you, Roland Martin. But um, whenever pattern fishing became a thing, I think that's mainly what the depth finders... You can correct me if I'm wrong, some of you folks that are out there that are older than I am. But um, I know that for before that, going back further, I know that um, what were the old... It was they were used for ice fishing. What were the old uh, the blinkers? So you would know that a fish was down there. Go over, drill your hole, put the blinker down there. You watch it, and then you would uh, jig up either like a little spoon or something. Can't remember what those were, but flash forward to 2021. Some of these commercials that I'm seeing from like Hummingbird, uh, Garmin, Low Rance, the imaging is ridiculous. So, I don't really, <clears throat> I don't even need to clear my throat, I'm just uh, kind of finding my words here. I don't have an opinion either way. Um, I think that whatever makes you happy as an angler, you can go out. But the, I guess, what we're going to focus on is, do you think that it takes away from the sport to have the electronics the way that they are um the i mean some of it like the side imaging and stuff pan optics and all that good stuff i've I, I watched someone the other day that came up on there was a dock right here and they used the pan optics and they knew <laughs> sorry they knew there was a fish or there were fish underneath the dock and then that's how they ended up catching that bass they knew it was there because of the pan optics. I mean, let alone the the incredible imaging where you can see a stick that this that's this big down in like 30 feet of water. But to be able to have that full range, actually, let's go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna click on um, one of the websites right now, and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So um, here is like this is the. All right, so here's the live scope forward, right? They're just different. I mean, it, it's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. It gives you all this field of vision right here. Here's a tree. You see fish all the way out to here. So if you, like, say that you were up on the deck right here, you cast out to here. You know exactly where that tree is, everything. So now I'm looking on the Hummingbird website which is, that's what I've had before. Click on these. So see what I'm talking about? That is just absolutely crazy. The fish don't stand a chance. If you were, now here, here's my, here, here's my playing devil's advocate. If, say that you go out there, you find the fish, you still have to have that knowledge of what to throw to get that fish to bite.
So I take it you didn't catch him? No. Dang. I've, I've been panopticized again. So, you know, even if, I mean, you, I'm sure that y'all that follow the tournament fishing, in just a regular fishing period, but you can go out there, you can throw, say you're throwing a chatterbait in a natural, like a bluegill color, right? And then your buddy's throwing a chatterbait in a black and blue. Your buddy's catching fish and you're not. It comes down to a bunch of different variables, including the condition, you know, the light, the temperature, everything. So, I mean, that, that part, and it's always been that way. So you, you still have to know which lure to throw. Um, but the fish don't stand a chance as long as you have that general knowledge. So my view on it is everybody's using the electronics, right? Everybody's allowed to use them. So they're finding the fish. They're finding a, um, usually a bunch of fish. You go out, you're throwing, I mean, you, you pretty much have an idea of the lures that you're going to be throwing are you better when it comes to tournament day. Um, so everybody's kind of on that equal, equal playing field. Um, but I don't, I don't know. Do you think that the modern angler relies too much on electronics or do you think it's just kind of a tool that's advanced that helps people? That's, that's the, the topic that I want to discuss. So if you have any comments, and I'm sure there are going to be tons of comments, drop them down below. I would love to um, get a conversation going back and forth. And we can always do another video where we kind of go over, where I go over what y'all said in the comments. And I think that would be really fun. But, um, yeah, that's the, uh, the skinny of it. But I will catch you all next time. Make sure that you... Hit the subscribe button. I would appreciate that. I think we're at 659, 660, somewhere around that now. Um, if you could comment down below. I really, really want to know what y'all think about this. Yeah. Yeah. I really want to know. It, it's kind of one of those conversations where you have, you have the conversation with your buddies. And you're kind of worried that you're going to start some stuff but you want to have the conversation anyway, so you just go for it. That's where we're at right now. I really want to know what everyone's thoughts are on this. But, um, yeah, so drop a comment below, and make sure you hit the like button and share the video out with all your friends that want to get in on the conversation. And I will catch you all next time. Take care.